All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. Well, we're sitting out here at the range. What a beautiful day. There's no one here. It's snowy. It's gorgeous. It's about 35 degrees. We're expecting a lot more snow, so I figured this would be a good opportunity to go ahead and do the review on this Palmetto State Armory Freedom 20-inch upper. Now, let's go over this thing real quick. It's 20-inch chrome molly vanadium steel. It's chambered in 5.56. Got a 1 and 7 twist. M4 barrel extension and uh, rifle length gas system. Uh, basically, it's an A2 style profile barrel. It's nitride finished uh, and in, uh, basically an F marked front sight post. Pretty neat. It's got the classic A4 style uh, hand guards on here. We'll take a look at that here in a few seconds. The upper is forged uh, 775 T6 aluminum. And uh, basically, it's mil spec and the anodization and everything. It's pretty much ex what you expect to see as far as a finished product from Palmetto State Armory. Now, whether or not it functions, because I haven't shot it yet, we'll, we'll find out. Uh, this one particularly, it was a uh, blim, and I picked it up for $239 with free shipping. And I still have that deal going on right now. And the only blim that I could find was there's a little mark right there. No big deal. As well as, let me show you guys this. This is uh, kind of ridiculous. But it's one of the things, is you can see how hard it is to pull that charging handle out. And I was seriously concerned. I was like, what in the hell is going on here? So what I did was I took it out, first of all, and I observed it. And the charging handle that came on it is bowed. <laughs> it's bent. So I'm glad it's just a charging handle. I'm not too concerned about that, but just uh, Palmetto State Armory. Check it out, man. I got a bowed charging handle. I would be, I'd be real happy if uh, you uh, asked me what my address was so you could send me another one of these things. But I've got a ton of these laying around. But uh, it's not going to prohibit or inhibit the firearm from going off today, I don't think. Because uh, I've just checked it out. The uh, bolt carrier does go all the way around. Now, speaking of the bolt carrier, this thing is basically, it's a mil spec. It's a full auto style bolt carrier with the full weight back here and it's uh, solid in the back. Um, the thing's been shot, peen tested, but it's not magnetically particle inspected. Now, I'm not too concerned about that because this is basically a gun that I'm gonna use for plinking. It's not a service weapon. If it was, I, I honestly, I think you could just uh, run the shit out of it and then turn around and if this bolt ever fell on you, you could probably just throw another bolt in it if you had it. I mean, right now they've got their premium bolts, which are MPI tested and uh, or inspected and they're like $69 free delivery. It's crazy. The, it is a buyer's market. If you're not out buying AR parts ammo right now, really and truly, you need to. Uh, ammo is at an all-time low. Guarantee it here in the next couple of weeks, I'm stocking up. So the fasteners are staked. They look pretty good. I'm sure the, the uh, firing pan is pretty nice. Um, Parkerized finish, and it's chrome-lined on the inside of, of the bolt, where the bolt's carried. So anyway, let's go ahead. Other than that thing, just not behaving the way it's supposed to be that's it now here's the deal um, I don't recognize the, um, the forging mark up here kind of looks like an M with some kind of sign in it. I'll go back and see what my paperwork says on that but uh, one of my buddies uh, money bag um, actually shoot this is the uh, UTG Pro uh, carry handle on this thing I thought this was I thought I had the FN carry handle out here on this. But in any case, it's nice. It's got the A2 uh, style uh, rear carry handle on this. So we shouldn't have any problems sighting this thing in today. I took liberty of going ahead and bore sighting it with one of the sight mark laser deals that they gave me for uh, Christmas. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to utilize this XM193 ball ammo. It's 55 grain. Still on the strip clips right here. I'm going to zero in, or at least see what kind of groupings we can get at 50, and after that, we're going to go ahead and get it on down to 100 and see what we can do there. Now, I'm just going to shoot it with the carry handle because I want to go old school. And it always seems to me that, uh, and it's kind of interesting, that once you guys get to a point where you've got every AR in the book, you have a tendency to actually go back to the old school style stuff. Let's go ahead and uh, quit talking and put some rounds down range and see how this bad boy handles. We're going to be using some Magpul. Uh, which one is it? This is 20 round mag. I don't know which generation it is. I really don't pay attention to that stuff. But again, with that charging handle bowed like that, you got a little difficulty pulling it back. But the bolt carrier operates just fine. Let's go ahead. Put that in there. 
I'm gonna put some ears on this time around. It's 35 degrees out here. The boys are getting a little chilly. All right, there we go. Let's turn this up. First round, see how she runs. I'm gonna shoot at the center target, 50 yards. And like I said, took the, went ahead and sighted it in with the uh, laser foresight. Now with the carry handle, it should not be that far off. But who knows, we'll see. Here we go. Center target. Okay, one of the things I will tell you right now, that is, I haven't shot a 20 inch barrel in a very long time. That's one of the smoothest, slowest, just buttery back and forth. That's the beauty of it. Now, if we cycle properly, I got a good ejection. It's sitting right there at about four o'clock where it should be. Let's go ahead and pop another round, see how she operates. Stand by. All right, she locks back, performs just like she should. So I'm pretty happy with the performance. Let's go down there and see how the accuracy was. You guys are seeing it on the screen up here before I am, but uh, let's go down there and check it out. Here we go. I gotta be honest with you, walking around with this thing, it just, it feels like home. All right, three more rounds. Hopefully that puts us on, we'll see. Not too impressed with that group. But with this trigger on this thing, I don't know. I'm not shooting for accuracy right now. I'm shooting for function. I'll go ahead and put a scope on this thing at a later date, and we'll see how she reaches out. Right now, if you hit a life-size body, you're doing good. All right, three, center line, center target, there we go. All right, let's go down there and see how she did. Stand by. So you can see I'm shooting a little low. I dropped it down there, but uh, the grips are tightening up a little bit. This was atrocious. That wasn't that bad, but good Lord. <laughs> I expect better than that. Let's uh, take it on down to the 100 and see how it looks after that. I'm gonna shoot the big target like that. Look at that, what a beautiful day. Love it. We're at 100 yards. I got a 12 inch target down there and I can barely see my dumb eyes. But uh, like I said, we're testing this thing out the old school method. I believe that 100% this thing's more accurate than I am. So here we go, 100 yards, 68 grain. All right, here we go. Still a nice little pile of brass over there. I love that smell. All right, so what do we got to say about this thing? Uh, it operates. I'm real happy with it. One of the things I will comment on is that the seam right here is impeccable. It's about as good as I've ever seen it on any of the Palmetto State Armory stuff. So that is one of the things I'm impressed with. Uh, cleanliness, operation, function, I have no complaints. Like I said, if we put a scope on this thing, we probably get a little bit more accurate, but I wanted to do this with the carry handle because you guys know I like carry handles. But, uh, man, that's pretty fun. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and pop three more rounds and we'll get down there and see what it looks like. Either I'm going to be real impressed 
or I'm gonna be real disappointed. <laughs> Let's get on down there and see what we got. Here we go. All right, so with a 50 yard zero, we should be shooting a little bit high at 100 yards anyway. I, uh, with the, uh, one of these guys right here, I'm okay with that. If I put a little bit more precision uh, trigger on this thing, I think we could have done a little better job. I'm not making excuses. Yeah, uh, I tell you what, not bad. A4 upper, $239 with charging handle and the uh, bolt carrier group. In any case, guys, I'm okay with this. I don't have any problems. If we put a scope on it, we probably could get it into a two to three inch circle, and we'll test that out here in the near future. But if you got any questions, comments, complaints, please don't hesitate in asking in the comment section down below. I know a lot of people are going to say, you really should have used a scope on this thing to test it out. Well, guys, I know a lot of people who are going to buy these things, and they're not going to be putting high, <laughs> high performance scopes on them. In any case, that's it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you got any questions, please don't hesitate leaving them down below. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so. It's Boy 32 support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform. 24-7 for freedom. Freedom's not free. And again, like I said, about the only complaint I have, seriously, is the charging handle being curved. I've never seen that before. It's kind of goofy. Good boy 32. Now.